Literally, we got an emergency. And how you gonna go it away? How you gonna sit in that like it was nothing? Yeah. How you gonna go it away? How you gonna make it so damn hard to explain? Yeah, y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's nine in the morning and I'm headed to my doctor's appointment, okay? Recently, I pretty much just got pretty much, I guess, bad. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? The news that your girl is just walking around with chronic illnesses and stuff, y'all. A lot of people know I had a stroke in 2020. God has blessed me so much with that. He has helped me heal and recover physically, mentally. And it's still a journey. But lately, I haven't been feeling well. I've been in pain and different stuff. So I went to see a specialist, which is called a rheumatologist. And come to find out, y'all, your girl got lupus. I don't know where lupus come from, how long I basically had it, because I feel like I've been headed, but I'm going to go into that story later. We about to head to my doctor's appointment so they can give me the rundown about lupus, what's next for me, how to manage what I'm going to be going through, and medication, just a bunch of mess. And mind you, your girl not trying to take no more medication because I already take medicine for from having a stroke. So my anxiety levels is just all over the place, but I am good. Keep me in your prayers. Because y'all know I always try to stay in good spirit. I'm not going to let nobody be sad. I don't want nobody to feel bad for me. None of that. Because I'm out here. I'm smiling. I'm walking. I'm happy. So, we about to go to the doctor appointment. And we about to see what's up. Let's go. Hello. always a hassle getting in this hospital because I want to know why the front desk just always be taking their time like if we in the hospital going to an appointment clearly we got an emergency or clearly we need y'all to hurry up so we can get help or something stop taking our time and then be trying to say we can't make it to the appointment but anyways let me try to get back on a positive note waiting for the doctor so it can basically give me the rundown of everything that's going on so I can learn and know what's going on. Y'all, I just met a resident. If y'all watch Grey's Anatomy, then you know about the residents at the doctors at the hospitals, period. And she looked young. She said she just graduated college, y'all. I really like her. Like, she's listening. She's trying to figure it out. She's feeling my joints. She making sure we good. She getting down to the nitty gritty. Like, that's what I like when I see a resident or a doctor. Y'all, take your job seriously. Like, yeah, so now I'm waiting for the main doctor to come in so we can learn more and soon get me up out of here. Stuff like that. Y'all, I'm happy that I really like her. I love when I meet a doctor and they're serious about their job and they take it seriously. That's all we need in this world. Pick the jobs for a reason because you care or you love it. You feel me? Then I will keep y'all updated because I don't know how long the doctor about to take to come in here. And sometimes... They put you in a room and then they take a long time. So, we gonna see. I'm done my doctor's appointment and your girl about to go get something to eat. Yeah, cause I'm hungry. Uh, it just started raining so bad out here. Like, excuse me? Ah, uh, I'm going in the house, y'all. I got my food. And I'm finna go in the house. Okay? 
So this is my food, y'all. I got Morris's. I don't know why they keep giving us this little bit of fries. Only A4 in the car, and look how much left. This is the crab cake. It look a little burnt, but this is how I like it. With some ketchup, mayo, and a tomato. And then we got greedy Noonie. Noonie, what you want to get rubbed? Hi, ah, Noonie. Ah, ah, you just bit me. Bye. Bye. You know what? Mm -hmm. As y'all can see, I was getting sleepy. So, I'm going to give y'all an update um, as far as my doctor's appointment. Yeah, y'all, lupus is weird. Um, it makes you really fatigued. Um, I, take a, I take naps, and I still go to bed at night. So, as y'all can see, I was sitting here preparing to go to sleep. Basically, uh, the doctors, they have confirmed that I have lupus. Lupus is pretty much a chronic illness, an autoimmune disorder. That basically your body attacks its own body tissues. That body tissue connects to like your joints and your fingers, your body. It attacks organs as well. So they have confirmed it. I do have lupus because as soon as I went in there, I pretty much wanted to make sure that they knew they saw my before they keep talking about medicine. So the medicine I have to take, like I said, is called Plaquenil or something like that. And I have to start with one pill for the first week. And then after that, I gradually go into my normal doses, which will be two pills a day. The pills and the research behind it is okay for me to take, even though I take um, warfarin, which is blood thinner. So... So-called the pill is safe. Only thing is, they got a side effect like in 10 years. Like, it can affect your eyes, meaning I won't be able to see like the color of red. Because when you do start taking this pill and stuff like that with this condition, you have to regularly go to the eye doctor. So I just was like, okay, because blood thinners got a way worse side effect than that pill. So at this point, it is what it is. They told me, I could say ibuprofen, but I declined only because it's just a pain reliever. And also, it's so many research saying that ibuprofen doesn't work well with blood thinners. So I'm not about to take ibuprofen when my whole, the last three years since I've had been taking this medicine, you know, they told me I can't take ibuprofen. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can take antihistamines, though. So I'm just going to skip on that. If I'm in pain, I'm just going to deal with it. But the medicine is supposed to help your body calm all them symptoms down. You know, you cannot cure lupus, um, but it helps with the process and that so it don't progress crazy and all that. Like, you know what I mean? So that's a blessing. And like I said, I'm so glad I went to this appointment with Full Blown, just get my own research because I learned so much and it answers so many questions I had, like me being fatigued, why I even had a stroke in the first place, like just all those things the doctors have answered for me. Um, and I'm just tired of being fatigued because y'all can see I'm rolling my eyes right now. I'm sleepy. Like, why am I just tired that I need to take a whole nap? Like I said, I believe I already had the lupus, and that's why I had the stroke from my blood clotters. And lupus can cause clotting of the blood, strokes, heart issues. Like I said, fatigue, organ failure. So I honestly believe that I already had it. And then the other doctor that's over her that came in that's dealing with me, she told me side effects, which is amazing, because at least you can know what you're getting yourself into. She told me how it can help me and stuff like that. And I know it's always something behind medicine, but honestly, y'all, I want to live a reasonable life if I can. You feel me? I have a son. So at the end of the day, I want to hear the side effects, and I want to make that decision to become stable and healthy. So... At the end of the day, that's just what it was. I go back to the doctor in six weeks. They told me with having lupus, they will be closely monitoring me all the time. So I like that. I want to feel comfortable. I want to feel safe. I don't want to just feel like I'm walking around with a chronic illness and nobody cares or nobody is not like checking up on me. I do plan on uh, starting therapy sessions to help with me mentally and with my anxiety because I have like small anxiety where I feel like you know, maybe I'm going to pass away or feeling like I'm going to be sick or 
little stuff like that. So I'm going to start that. And then mentally it's just, you know, mentally it's just knowing the fact that you are a chronic illness baddie. And you want to make sure your mental state is good. Because when I first heard it, I wanted to break down and cry and stuff like that. But I have not even gotten a chance to break down and cry over it. And just thinking back to when I had my stroke, y'all, I didn't broke down crying in the hospital when I was admitted. I didn't broke down crying so many times late at night on Instagram, thinking about how I'm alive and somebody else not. So, like, you got to make sure your mental part is all the way together. You got to make sure you good. You don't want to go crazy. You don't want it to affect you. So, I always try to make sure I keep up with my mental health, even if it goes through prayer or therapy. So, that's just what we give her. We give her, so... I'm feeling good, like, feeling confident, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling the same as yesterday. I'm just thankful to wake up today and not be in pain the way I was. Even though I know it comes and goes, I'm just glad today it ain't today. So that's just what it is, but I'm gonna take this nap, y'all. Y'all, I just went to go get my medicine, so I got my blood thinner, and I was trying to pick up Plaquenil, my new medicine. And tell me why I already picked it up like a week ago. And I ain't know I did. And I remember having a random pill in my bag from CVS the whole time. That was the medicine. So I'm finna start that medication. Period. This girl, we mad because it's hot out here. Y'all, my cousin was in the store, my older cousin. She got the praying for me in the house and all that, y'all. So. Oh, we about to relax and go to the pool. Thank you. Hey. Um, hey. See y'all later. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Back outside, y'all. Say hi, y'all. Look who joined us. Loyal. We about to go to the pool, y'all. It's like 80 something degrees. It's going to be hot all week. It's and it's sunny. It's 92 degrees. Bro. Oh, it's 92 it's degrees. 90. My thing say 83. What? Maybe it's the car. I feel like cool breeze. Y'all got my bathing suit on. And we about to get in this water. Let's go. Is you gonna really get in the water? I am gonna get in the water. I'm like, I'm really gonna get in the water. You gonna dip your head? I'm not gonna dip my head because I gotta take these braids out. You gotta wash it anyway. But it's gonna be nappy with the braids. <laughs> no, I'm already turning the head of y'all. I can't. I can't afford it. But we going to the pool. No, you dipping Ooh. your head. Uh, yeah, that means it. We don't play that water stuff. But we gonna see how at the pool. Go, don't play with it. Don't be dishonest. Ay. Still not understanding this logic. Ay. I'm back and I'm better. I'm better. I want you bad as ever. Don't let me just let up. I wanna get you better. Maybe it's whatever. Somebody gotta step up, girl, let somebody show them next up Be bad for them cats, it's easy to see that you're fed up I am on a whole nother level Made it to the pool So yeah, look closer to the sun We made it to the pool, y'all, they got like a really nice view, y'all Let's get in the water We got loyal We about to get in this pool Y'all, look at the view. The water. We got Mimi. Say hi, Mimi. Mimi. Say I look ugly. I'm just out here. Girl, I look ugly. Y'all look like the same person. Look at you. This is a three I forgot. It's floating. Yeah, come on. Who's it is. What? I'm sorry. Hey, Chevy. Look at this beautiful water. You want to go to Fogo de Chao for dinner? Sure. I'll pay. Sure. Stay Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's scared, y'all. He's scared. He's scared. Look, I'm Spider Man. No, nah, you're not Spider Man. He's scared. Because <laughs> you let him. Girl, I guess you didn't know any better Girl, that man didn't show any effort Do all I can just to show you it's special Certain it's your love that holds me together Hey, can you say he been killing the vibe? Gotta be sick of this guy Pull up skirt, get in the right 
Left hand is snipping, the other is ripping your thigh. Light up a spliff and get high. Shout it, you deserve what you been missing. Looking at you, I'm thinking he must be driven. Baby, oh, so no. I'm just with her. Loving ain't the same I don't know what to say, but What a shame If you were mine, you would not get the same If you were mine, you would top everything Suicide in the drop, switch your lens in the thing So five, baby, no propane Not good, girl, can I be faint? Keep it 100, girl, I ain't no saint But you the only reason that I'm feeling this way Giving you the world, baby, when you get space Then gang, give me lay, baby, that's penetrate Oh, baby Feels so good out here You know what would be, be really good? Some wings Get her now. Oh. Yay, mom. Hello. Hello, What's mom. What's up? Hello. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, now he can flow. Yeah, exactly. That's all right. He said, yeah, I'm out here today. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Sassy, moody, nasty. I can't see you, but I'm better. Where is Oh. Can I show you something? Can I show you something? Look. Oh. 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 We let in the pool, girl. Yeah. I just got out the water. I'm gonna have a snack. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> the pool is a vibe, though. we're gonna go ahead and end it right here and i'm gonna end this vlog i really hope that y'all enjoyed this video okay and i want y'all to know that god is a healer i hope this video motivates you no matter what life try to throw at you that god gonna show you them good days and he gonna show you pushing through them okay your girl official side is leaving and i'll see y'all in my next vlog bye y'all <laughs> Grow it all the way and save my love that was not the same.